Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be kind of like a chit chatty video. I haven't done one of these in a while, if ever. I know that a couple of you were actually requesting that I do like an updated get to know me video, but I don't think you can do a get to know me video twice. Like you get to know me once. If anyone wants to watch the old get to know me video, I'm going to link it somewhere in the description box, but it's a very, very old video, so be warned. But I still kind of wanted to do a video where I talk to you guys like and share things I've probably never shared on this channel before. So I'm going to get to the first random fact. So the first random fact is that I'm kind of on the tall side. This is the first thing that people comment on the minute that they meet me in person. And like, they just never expected it. Nobody expects me to be as tall as I am and I don't know why. I feel like it's probably the way that I look just sitting down on camera here and you guys just like, probably can't tell but I'm kind of on the tall side and people always comment on that when they meet me in person so I'm just saying it here so that when you meet me in person you are not shocked about it just know that I am 5'10 I am tall-ish I'm not that tall I'm not too tall or anything I actually know females that are way taller than I am but just know that I might tower over you when you see me in person okay and fact number two is that I am short-sighted like i've been short-sighted since like as far back as i can remember i actually started wearing glasses when i was 13 but i am short-sighted and i cannot see anything without glasses or contact so you guys have never seen me wearing my glasses on this channel some of you who follow me on snapchat have probably seen me wearing glasses and those glasses are actually for like sight they're for vision they're not fancy if i'm not wearing it i can't see anything so i'm short-sighted and i'm wearing a pair of contacts now so you might run into me wearing glasses in this Lagos so know that the glasses are not fancy I'm actually short-sighted and I've been wearing glasses for a very very long time since I was 13 okay fact number three is that I like it when things are really really organized I cannot stand it when an environment is messy when things are like all over the place or strewn around like I don't like it like I know that I've had situations where like I've shared bedrooms with my junior sister my immediate junior sister Noma is like two years my junior so like growing up we always shared one space we always shared one bedroom and then most of the time she just packs up and she leaves because she can't stand me and I'm not going to leave the room for you I know that would have full-blown arguments and fights over the way that the bed was dressed if it's sloppy I am going to complain there's no way I'm not going to complain I'm one of those people that wake up in the morning on days when I have like zero plans I don't have anything to do I'll probably lay in bed all day reading a novel or watching a movie but then I would dress my bed go to the bathroom take a shower and then come back and lie down and like I know that some people just find it very confusing why do I do that but I can't stand it when things are not like neat or dressed or organized when my bed is not made when like my workspace is not organized I just feel like I can't think clearly I know that it can be really annoying but I don't know how to get past it everything has to be organized around me for me to stay sane I don't want to say that I'm OCD or anything I don't think I'm OCD but I just like it when things are like really really organized Fact number four, I am a cake whore. Like when I say that I'm a cake whore, like I'm a cake whore. Like if it has cream cheese or caramel on it, please just bring it. Bring it, I will take it from you. I will relieve you of the burden. I love cake so much. It's that one thing that I kind of go for whenever I want to treat myself. I go and I have cake. I love cake so much and I don't think that my love for cake is going to like die anytime soon i love cake so much fact number five is that i don't like alcohol it is highly unlikely that you're going to see me having or taking alcohol in any kind of social gathering and it doesn't have anything to do with my beliefs or anything it is a personal thing i don't like the way that alcohol tastes the minute i taste it or smell it in any drink that drink is done i don't want it bye bye yeah i don't like it i just don't like the way that alcohol tastes i can actually manage it when a drink is like really really sweet and it covers up the taste of the alcohol but um most of the times you will not see me taking most of the popular alcoholic drinks i just don't like it but then i love like palm wine and i can finish like five liters of it in one sitting that's how much i love it and it's because it doesn't have like that common alcoholic taste that most alcoholic drinks like have so yeah i don't like alcohol i don't like the way that it tastes my Igbo is actually a bit weird like if you're from the southeast you would know that like depending on what state you're from we'll have like different dialects and my dad is from Anambra my mom is from Imo and I grew up in Enugu and these are like three different states that talk in three different ways most of the times like we females we end up talking the way that our moms do and my mom is from Imo kind of grew up in Enugu so I kind of mix up things a lot I will probably say something like Ebekineje Bianga and then Ebekineje Bianga literally translates to where are you going to come here and 
the first half of that sentence, I've said it like an, a typical Anambra person, and the second half, the come here, which is Biangra, I have said it like an Imo state person. So most of the times when I meet people and we begin to speak Igbo together, one of the first things that they point out is that I talk weird, that like everything doesn't rhyme, like my Igbo just sounds all jumbled up and mixed up. But in most cases, you can understand what I'm saying. Just know that I'll probably say one sentence like an emo person would and then say the other sentence like an Enugu person would and then say the third sentence like an Anambra person would. So it's a bit confusing sometimes, but you know. If I was ever feeling like crap, like sick or anything and I refused to eat every other thing, the two things that I'm guaranteed to eat or take from me would be a bacha, which is like an Igbo dish. It's very, very spicy, made with cassava and um, palm oil and fried fish and all of that, it's really really good. The preparation is kind of similar to the way that they prepare oba or nkobi but abacha is like an enugu state food and I love it so much. It's one thing that I grew up eating and like if I haven't eaten it for a very long time like I literally feel sad but then if I don't take that from you the next thing that I'm guaranteed to take from you would be fried yam and any type of spicy sauce. It could be pepper sauce, it could be egg sauce, it could be tomato sauce. As long as it's spicy I love, I love fried yam so much i love fried yam it just has to be paired with something spicy because if you give me like fried yam with like normal nigerian like stew i don't like it because i don't feel like the stew is spicy enough i like it when it is paired with something really hot and spicy the only three tv shows that i'm currently following are game of thrones i started watching it last year and i completely fell in love i'm waiting for it to come back on again later on in the year and then the second one will be stranger things i did not expect myself to love that show especially considering the fact that it's a thriller and i don't like it when i watch scary things or like things that make me sit on the edge of my seat but i love stranger things so much i'm waiting for season two to come back out later on in the year and then the third one for me is project one way i'm not even that much of a fashion enthusiast and i can't sew anything to save my life but i like the fact that they create all these beautiful things out of nothing most of the time so it's actually the only tv show of its kind that i've actually started and followed up until this point i love project one way a lot so for me it's game of thrones project one way and stranger things with that said, however, I would rather read a book than watch a TV show. Like, I hardly ever pay my DSTV subscription. I have one running now, and it was because I paid, um, because I wanted to watch the Big Brother that is currently going on, but um, I haven't even watched the Big Brother one. I don't even know what is going on there. I will just rather read a book, and I feel like I can watch everything I want to watch online. I don't see the reason why I have to pay for TV, so I love to read a lot. And my favorite author is Chimamanda Adichie, for those of you who are wondering, if I should if I meet that woman, I'll probably faint. My three favorite cities in the world are Lagos, which I currently live in. I currently live in Lagos, Nigeria now, and I love Lagos so much. The second will be London, and I've actually been to London quite often. Like, it took me a while to actually fall in love with London. But New York is a city that I have been to just once. I went to um, New York once in 2013 i spent like over two weeks there and that i absolutely fell in love but i can't begin to describe how that city made me feel i haven't been i haven't been back it's going to four years now i haven't been back um in new york but i want to go this year i want to go to new york again this year i loved new york so much you guys don't know like i love new york so much i think that's one next thing i actually love it more than the other two cities that i mentioned but i love new york like i love new york i don't see myself ever in this life living anywhere outside of nigeria but if i were ever like tempted to live anywhere else it would definitely be new york i loved new york so much and i can't wait to go back again i just hope that i'm able to actually with the way the economy is right now I hate anything strawberry flavored, like you would not get me to touch strawberry ice cream, any strawberry drink, any strawberry flavored um, candy, I just don't like it when anything is strawberry flavored and it actually started when I was a child. I remember that I had the strawberry drink, I had never seen that drink before, we would normally have the chocolate version of the drink and my parents would buy it, I think I was around 4. Three, four, between four and five at the time, but whatever it is that I had after that, it was so bad that I remember it clearly up until now. So I remember that they brought um, some drinks. Like so, there was this chocolate version that my parents would always buy and would drink. So one day my dad came back with a strawberry um, flavored um, version of that drink, and because it was new, there was just one strawberry and then there was one chocolate but because like i was older than my sister i kind of bullied her out of the strawberry one and i took it and i gave her the chocolate one and then i had a strawberry drink all to myself and then i took it to school and then i remember drinking it and then i felt so sick i felt so sick that i had to be rushed back from school and my mom had to take me to the hospital and then i know that 
I, I can't remember what I had for probably malaria or something but I know that it had nothing to do with the drink but then I just stopped taking anything strawberry flavored after that it just made me like have a very very strong aversion to anything strawberry flavored and I'm sure that it, like I said my sickness had nothing to do with strawberry and I kind of get like that most of the time especially when I have just eaten something before I fall sick most of the times I end up hating whatever it is it's the same thing with me and conflicts as well I remember that I used to love conflicts so much I'd rather have conflicts than any type of cereal but then one time when I was in SS2 I felt sick and I had this like food poisoning situation going on after I had just had conflicts and I ended up throwing up and throwing up and throwing up and then I felt sick and after that conflicts just never looked the same to me again. I'm sure that conflicts wasn't the problem but I just can't, I just can't go back to something after I had fallen sick shortly after taking it. I don't know why. So yeah. My favorite fruit is mango and since it's mango season i had to throw this in here i literally live for the time of the year when mangoes are in season and when it's not in season i just keep waiting patiently for it to come back again in season i don't know why we can't get mangoes all year round why why can't we get mangoes all year round i love mangoes so much i don't like turkey it's like my worst meat Ever. like you'd never catch me dead eating turkey like they disgust me so much like when I was in HRC when I was in, when I was in secondary school I remember that we had like some of them like roaming around the school premises I don't know who they belong to but someone was obviously raising turkeys in school and like they are very dirty birds like you'd always find them in the dirtiest environment and as a result I just don't want to like think of myself eating any of them like they are very very dirty like they kind of remind me of pigs sometimes they are very very dirty and they also don't taste good like they taste bland in my opinion they don't taste as good as chicken does so i don't like turkey and you would never mm -mm, you would never catch me eating turkey mm, no my favorite flower is a flower called queen of the night when i was in ss1 back in hrc i know that we had some queen of the night plants uh, near the SS1 block at the time and I had a window seat so the flowers were just right by my window and they would bloom at night and then they would smell so good like I didn't like going for night preps but um, this flower made me look forward to going like for night preps they smelled so good and I haven't seen one in years but like if I see one I'm just going to go there and smell it till my heart is full I love that flower so much I love Afrobeats I feel like every Nigerian loves Afrobeats but I love Afrobeats like and I feel like I love it so much so that I don't even know what is going on like in the music world most of the times if it's not like nigerian music or afrobeats i don't really i don't really know anything these days but i love afrobeats and yeah my current favorite song at the moment is mad over you by run town i feel like everybody loves mad over you i don't like dogs they make me really nervous and like agitated and then they can tell most of the time because they just keep coming for me when i'm running backwards i just hate dogs and it's actually funny because i actually grew up around a lot of dogs my grandparents had dogs we had dogs growing up but i just don't like dogs like they really really just like i find them like really like annoying and they just make me really nervous so i don't like dogs and you wouldn't i don't think i would ever own a dog mm -mm. I don't think so no. I don't like fried plantain and I feel like this is an offense that is punishable by death in this country but I don't like I don't like fried plantain I don't like it when anything is fried and it is sweet instead of like being spicy I love it when any fried thing is either bland I'd rather you be bland or spicy I just don't want you sweet and this is also the reason why I don't like sweet potato fries or chicken that has been like spiced with a very very sweet sauce I don't I don't so I like it when my food is kind of warm and spicy and then cool and sweet if that makes any sense I don't like it when my food is warm and sweet does that even make sense? And that's what you get with fried plantain and sweet potatoes and all of that. I'd, I'd rather you be bland or spicy. Just don't be sweet if you're going to be warm. I don't like coffee. It makes me feel very irritated and restless and jumpy. So the only reason you'd ever catch me in a cafe new or a Starbucks or a Costa is because I'm going there to get some work done. But aside from that, I don't. I just don't like coffee. Fact number 19 is that I'm actually kind of shy. Like those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know that at the beginning, especially of my YouTube, that like you could tell that I was shy. But then like if you should also meet me in a social gathering or anything, I'm actually actually in a, in a place or in an environment where I don't know a lot of people. I'm going to be very, very reserved and just not say anything. But the thing is that if you actually see me in an environment where like I'm really comfortable with the people that I'm with, then I'm actually very, very outspoken. Like I would say my mind, but then in a very very new environment and when I don't know you and when I don't know a lot of people, 
I'd hardly ever do or say anything, trust me. And the last random fact is that I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Like, I never even attempted it while I was growing up. My sister actually knows how to, but I feel like maybe I was too scared. And every time they put me on one, I just probably scream everyone's heads off and then they'll bring me down. And right now, I just wish that I had learned because I have to do a lot of cycling right now. And all I use, like, I only use stationary bikes. And sometimes I wish I could just, like, ride off into the sunset on a normal bike. But I feel like maybe I'll probably still find a way to learn. You know, there's always, you know, I think I can. I can talk myself into, like, if I can learn how to drive using a bicycle, I'll learn how to drive a bicycle. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. You guys should let me know if you would like to see, like, a Snapchat Q&A so that I can maybe answer, like, some questions that you guys have in detail. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.